Yeah, I mean, as mentioned in the previous panel, uh, this whole issue of sustainability is becoming part of regular business. It's driving rents, it's driving values, and therefore it's driving performance. We invest, we develop, and we own and manage shopping centers. So we think that the tenants are uh, an important partners of our uh, own uh, um, success in terms of financial and also environmental and social performance. Yeah, this is our new headquarter where we moved in last year. And we also are very much interested in green building. Yeah. We do it uh, since 1999 in all our shopping centers. In all of them? Yes. Uh, and we manage the, the information. We just publish it since 2004. And we think that, uh, as was mentioned before, reporting is an important tool. Uh, and it's a tool, it's not an objective it, it itself. It's important just not to be transparent, but so, uh, as a way to increase uh, uh, um, discipline, internal discipline. Because if you, uh, and also an, uh, a good tool to better manage uh, and take better decisions on the management of your portfolio. So, uh, so some information we pass to the visitors, but visitors are not very interesting on, yeah. on that. A few of them are, but the ma big majority are not. Uh, we pass this information in terms internally to Sonai Sierra for the people that has to take decisions on CAPEX each year in terms of investing in the existing buildings uh, to improve uh, uh, the performance. We pass it some information to the tenants and it's a management tool. Well, I mean, it, it depends. Yeah? There are some uh, large corporate tenants who run their own sustainability programs and uh, so uh, which kind of office they use is also par partly in their rules and regulations, mm -hmm. what are the requirements. Other also large tenants do not have such policies. So uh, there's, no, there's, no, there's no general statement possible on that. Mm -hmm. But what I believe that is very important is to work with the service providers. You must onboard your local service providers uh, to subscribe to that as well, because usually it's not us who are the first line of contact on technical things. It is our property management, it is our facility management. We have in France, in the UK, in the United States or elsewhere, and uh, therefore it's part of our policy that we onboard those service providers yeah. To, certain, to some extent, we have done that contractually already, for example, in Germany and in uh, France, uh, and we try to roll out that uh, uh, through all over the globe. But this is very important, because if a property manager who is the day-to-day -day contact in offices, but also the, uh, the center manager in a, a shopping center, if he is uh, talking to tenants, if he's convincing them, and if the tenants and the property manager together can measure mm. the gains, yeah. the economic gains. This helps a lot. They are interested in, in the building. They are working a lot, very, very lot, because journalists for their Spiegel work day and night and in the weekend. So it, they are, it's very important that they feel comfortable. And we, uh, we are sure that we are comfortable because w since we moved in last year, the people are very, very satisfied. There are some mistakes which are new in a new building normal, and it takes about one year that, because you must have all winter, summer, spring, autumn, and then now it's getting better and better and better, and they feel good.